everyone this is ronnie just coming to you today with a haul video i went to exactly two thrift stores and a state sale that i've been to two other days i guess they redid it again there was so much stuff left over and i figured this is a state sale we did very extremely well at my wife at one there first and then i went back later that day and we both found so much stuff we talked about it a few weeks ago and then i seen it it was today there wasn't really much going on so i said eh, you know what let me check it out see what's going on and hold there's more stuff that i must have missed because they had like three different they had two closets stuff on racks and you just couldn't get a good feel for everything and between people being there and so on and so forth um so that being said, go through some of the stuff. If you guys have any questions, I will answer the questions at the end. I need a little help actually on something on this. So uh, at the end, I'll ask for the help. So in a few minutes. So we'll go through this, try to go through this uh, pretty well. If anybody needs anything, just uh, make a question. I'll get back to it later. I found this yesterday. Test this instruments uh, calculator, it works. TI-83 Plus, pay $3. These sell for about 30 bucks, free shipping. Easy money. Love these. Uh, where am I going to put this shit? Pair, I picked these up at a thrift store for $13. A Mephisio. These are really good condition. Really nice. These are women's shoes. I don't know what these sell for anymore. Usually you can get... 50 to 100 depend on the model depend on condition just depend on the shoe but uh i haven't picked any of these up in a recent hope they still do well but uh we'll see pick these up the next three shirts i paid a combination of six dollars each at a thrift store this is a this is a gucci one this is a little bit older of a shirt probably made this was actually made when zegna made their stuff um, this is made in Spain. It's cotton. Nice pattern. Six bucks. Um, this is actually made during the freaking what they call the Tom Ford era is when they Tom Ford was actually in charge of Gucci and mm -hmm. um, I forgot. What was the other company? East Saint Laurent, I think. But anyway, these go for pretty decent money. These will sell for probably north of 50, 50 to 100 range. They're a little bit collectible before Tom Ford went out on his own. Um, this is a Burberry shirt. Usually don't pick up the older label, but uh, it was new attacks. So spec probably about 50 for that. And... This is a Ralph Lauren shirt. Once again, I don't usually pick up Ralph Lauren shirts, but this was, where is he? There we go. We got a little martini polo bear. So this will do well. It's a white shirt. It's a bigger size. It's a uh, 17 by 35. I expect about 50 on that one. Like I said, I paid $6 a piece on these at a thrift store. Now, most of this other stuff came from – we'll show this first. This came from – no, that's from – all right. Keep all this shit separated. This I paid 7 bucks. See, it's a tweed jacket. Got the Goodwill thingy on it. And this was a brand J Press. Up and down, some stuff does well, some stuff sits, some stuff takes forever. Uh, but I paid six bucks. It's tweed. It's coming into that winter time. Um, like I said, we paid seven, and I expect I don't know seventy ish is what I'm hoping for. And then I picked up a two piece men's suit. Here's the pants. Giorgio Armani, some more recent 
pants. They have like a black and charcoal gray stripe to it. Almost feels like a plaid. I mean, not a plaid. Um, bleh. not a plaid. What do you call it? A flannel, like a flannel material. A little heavier jacket. There's the jacket. It's a three-button jacket, but still should do well. There's the inside tag. This was fifteen. The last one I sold, I think I got about two hundred dollars for it. For this, um, it is a forty-four regular and one hundred percent. So we'll get into the stuff to the state sale now. I paid a total of sixty-four dollars for everything. Here's the tag right there. And bargain shopping, I guess it just depends on where you are in the country and so on and so forth. I'm willing to wait out a lot of stuff, pictures, feedback. There's so many different things that go into um, trying to get top dollar for certain things. Um, but that's a lot of different things. My phone is driving me crazy at the moment. So this is stuff we got from the state sale. For whatever reason, sport coats were $10, but suits were 8 Go figure. I don't understand. Um, depends on suits. Uh, some are altered, some are not. You take measurements, measurements and you try to figure them out best. If they're most suits are off the rack, very few are tailored to somebody. Um, some are, but you get into the higher end brands. This is just a sear sucker. This is a, like a textured cotton. This is a Brooks Brothers. I got this because of the size. It's a forty-eight extra long. You're not going to see too many of those sizes. Uh, I'm not really sure if anybody's going to be looking for a sear sucker. This is more like a. Uh, a summertime boating, you know, weekend at the yacht club kind of deal. But I don't know. I, I expect somewhere north of 54 because of the size. Um, this is a – I paid $10 for this, and I'm, I'm a sucker because I'm a Yankee fan. Yankee jersey, this is made by Majestic. It's an extra large – Jeter jersey, I don't know, 40, 50 bucks probably on this. So we'll see. Um, let me see here. This is another jacket. It's a solid color. It's a, like a blue. has peak lapels. Um, two button front. See the pell right there. Peak. This is a Mani Collection, whatever the hell that says. And this is a 48 long. As you'll see, most of these are, it's really weird. He must have gained weight at one time because a lot of the newer stuff actually has uh, a bit, is a bigger size, but a lot of the Older stuff is a little bit um, smaller size. So he must have gained weight. I remember talking to the person that ran the sale a few weeks ago. I guess he was, he owned a few car dealerships in town. So And he had a place in New York City. So... What's up, Adam? Hope you're doing well. How you doing, Yvonne? Swamp Picker. Uh, this I seen, I noticed this when I first came in there. This is a Versace men's like track jacket. I have no idea what that says. It looks like maybe a V. What was the Versace's first name? Because <laughs> Versace wasn't his 
first name, was it? First Lapsy would have to be his last name. Um, I have no idea what kind of material this is. It feels like a wool acrylic blend. I don't know. We'll figure it out later, but this was two bucks. Can't go wrong. I don't know what that's going to sell for, but uh, got to be worth more than $50. This was really cool. This I don't know how I left how we left this behind the first two times we went there. But see this this is like a silk polyester. I have no idea what this is, but it feels extra silky. But this is a Gina Versace men's shirt. I mean these are the ones that really do well. It has the Versace heads on it and everything like that. This was two bucks. Really funky. It's like a polo shirt. This is definitely 90s, 80s style. I mean, it's just, this will do good. I don't know exactly what, but if I had to guess, I mean, look at completes on these and... This is probably two to four hundred dollars, I would say, at least, if not more. Uh, do you worry about fake Versace? No, I do not. Um, I've seen fake ones. I've seen real ones. We've dealt with enough pieces to know what's good and what's bad. All right, Tony. I guess you're making a point. I don't live in Texas, thank God. Maybe because of the weather down there this is a men's white dress shirt it has the french cuffs french cuffs are where it needs the uh cufflinks or yeah knee cufflinks and there'll be no buttons and it has the cutaway collar you'll see it's like cut back a little bit and this is a purple label ralph lauren um I've done really well with the French cuffs with the cutaway collar. But uh should be this was two bucks, should be at least fifty. Um this was funny to find this because this is just randomness. Pair of pajamas, these are the bottoms. These are the tops. And the brand is Derek Rose. And we just found, I found two pairs of these maybe a month ago, six weeks ago. And I sold them both. I got them at our local Goodwill. I sold them both for about $100. I sold one the other day. Um, they were a little bit more different patterns. But it was really weird that I found them. I believe they were even for um, the same freaking company, which I can't remember now. Barred off Goodman. It's like a department store. So it was really interesting and weird. Um, Krillin, I have something next. I have something for you. I don't know if you're going to have an answer on it. I'm going to have to talk to a few other people. And then oh, I'm already almost done with this. This is a Giorgi Amani, but you'll see it's a three-piece suit. I actually left it up behind quite a few Giorgi Amani suits just because... The patterns look dated, the material, they just look to be hanging there for way too long a time. And I just said, eh, it's very slow selling for me. But the three-piece suits do better. This is a three-piece suit. I love three-piece suits. Anytime three-piece suit with a good brand behind it will really do well. Um, I found one last week there. These are larger. Well, the other one I found was a 40 uh, this is wool, and it is a, it's actually a small size, 42 regular. Well, not small, small, but your regular person size. I love this one. This one has a nicer pattern to it. I love this pattern. Nice Glen plaid pattern. Just really nice. And this is also a three-piece suit where it has the vests. These were $8 a piece. 
This one is wool and camel hair. And this is also a 42. Oh, I got a few more things. I lied. So these I expect to get somewhere in the 200 to 400. I think I listed for 400, but, you know, I'm in it for $8, so I'll take anything over. Um, but, uh, Tony, I'll get to your question in a minute. I found some of these custom-made suits. I found some last time. I listed them, and eh, I don't, I'm not really sure if they're doing that well. Like, I'm not sure if they're going to sell. But I picked them up, and I came across a few more, and it's like, eh, you can't leave them behind. These suits, they're made by a custom tailor in New York City, and the tailor's name is Kar Karim, whatever, Kardar. K A M A A L K A D R I. So I listed these up. Um, not sure if there's a following form. The last few I found, and I found a few more. But uh, they're really nice. They they all have like uh, the surgeon cuffs or working cuffs, whatever you want to call them. They just like this one's black and like a green striped. Um, I found this one. This is black, but it has peak lapels. They're just a little bit over the top. Patch, triple patch, more working cuffs. Really nice uh, linings in them. Just really nice um, made jackets. This is the same one made by that same person. What's funny is I found a pair of pants for one I picked up last a few weeks back, so I'm gonna have to adjust the listing. So this is the pants, nothing special. The thing I'm gonna have an issue with, and I'm confused, is I found some fabric. Good this this is a chunk of fabric, as you see here. I seen it in the corner. I didn't know what to ask. I didn't even know what to make of it. Like this one, all right, that one might be better over there. <laughs> These say super fine, super 160s wool, made in England, royal, royal diamond. <sighs> Ooh, bless me. Uh, this is fabric. You see, this is a good thing. I, I put my scale on just to freaking figure out how much this is. It is approximately three and a half pounds of fabric. I have no idea how to figure out what fabric sells for, but I picked this one up and another one for only $2 each. And I have no idea. Um, maybe somebody else has an idea of how to sell fabric or what fabric is worth, but this is one of them. The other one I think is better. I just realized the name on the other one. I didn't realize the name. I just seen this one was on top. This actually looked like the fabric that they use for um, Shepard and Anderson used for their suits. Because in one of the suits I have, the you could see the end roll inside the inside pocket. Uh, it was a house fabric, so I'm not sure um, really too much about this. I have to figure it out. This thing, this thing is four pounds, almost four pounds of fabric. I mean, this thing is, it's at least this wide and then, so that's, hold on a second, like 34 inches maybe. 36 inches maybe and then I mean this might be like eight feet I figure at least sixty by thirty six maybe this one right here so I'm not really sure uh, we'll see uh, and then this one you'll see this one in a minute I just noticed it now. I didn't notice it to be before. This is another big chunk of fabric. I'll just weigh it because if it's close to the other one, we know what the size is approximately. This is actually more fabric. This is actually exactly four pounds. 
The other one was three and a half. But if you see here, it says, uh, let me see, Super 160s exclusive for Stefano Ricci made by Vital Barbaris Canta, Canta <laughs> I'm terrible with my pronunciation, sorry. But you see right there, made for... Stefano Ricci is one of the best brands you can actually buy. It's probably top five brand. This is a very nice, like, pinstripe, but like, multi-colored fabric. It's like a red, blue, purple, and, like, a gold pinstripe. It's actually really nice. Too bad I don't need a suit. Too bad I'm not going to court or anything. One yard equals – same thing in football. <laughs> One yard equals a foot. No, I just play it. But uh, I don't know how to exactly sell those. I'm, I'm assuming going to sell them as it is, but uh, I'll figure it out. Um, but if anybody does have any any help on – can help me out on that, hit me up. Um, let me see here. So that was my day. It actually – I mean, like I said, I spent – not that much money and the fabric you know the first fabric i'm like eh. i'm excited about it but the second fabric after i see the names on it i'm like oh and that pattern yeah that's gonna make somebody a really nice 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 too bad i don't need a suit um, let me see here. There was a question. If anybody has any questions, now would be the time to get them in the chat. Uh, hello, everybody. Found a Hugo Boss Laurel Piana wool purple jacket today. It's missing one cuff button. Would you change all eight or six or eight cuff buttons on the jacket or just mention the conditions? I would just mention the conditions. We actually have a – we had a jar for the longest time. I don't know if we still do. Um, but sometimes if we were missing a button, we would try to find a similar matching button in that pile and get it on its way, fix it and sell it. Sometimes just sell it as is. Somebody will fix it if they really want it. It's not that big of a deal for someone to be missing a button on a cuff or something like that. It can be uh, fixed pretty easily. No rush. I guess you don't like Texas, moving back to Boston, maybe after winter. Uh, da, da, da. Everyone in Texas, what do you guys do? I laundry everything, keep in bins. I have a townhouse moving my bins to the storage unit, temperature control. A lot of people I know that had issues, like we used to do it when we had the warehouse. We used to have a uh, freezer. And we used to throw a lot of the stuff in the freezer. Um, most of the time, I don't try to buy anything that looks dirty. I don't go shopping at the bins or anything like that. Um, so everything kind of looks clean or I'm not buying it. And most of the time, most of the stuff has dry cleaner tags. A lot of stuff gets dry cleaned. I've talked in the past that I wish that if we had a more space and we went through things bigger, maybe I would have everything dry cleaned. I could probably work out a deal with a local dry cleaner to make sure everything was dry cleaned and kind of ready to go and sell it, send it out. Um, yeah, Yvonne, I, I like actually seersucker jackets. Whenever I get them, they sell. Uh, for the most part, if there's a decent brand associated with the name. Um, okay, let's go back here. Ronnie, you still do an FBA? What do you sell? I still do some FBA. I still have some CDs in there. have a lot of board games or some board games over there. I have every video games every once in a while. We get video games. We... We'll list them. Not really doing FBA. We actually kind of do Merle Merchant for Phil because I don't have that many items. I think I have 50 or 60 items maybe. It's not a huge amount. Um, I wanted them to see if they work out some of their kinks. I just really haven't been too thrilled with um, the FBA 
you know, for a little way bit now. Got Mr. Chad in here doing the show tonight. So if you're watching this and later on, you can go over to uh, Golden Finger Pickers channel, watch Resell Paul show. Me, myself, me, myself. Uh, what am I thinking? Me, Chad, the Golden Finger Picker, and also Pete, the Craigslist Hunter, will be over there. So you can come by, say hello. It's 9 o'clock Eastern Time. Um, Thanks, Ronnie. We'll mention in the condition. It's just not a sanded button. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it's you find these buttons and they're just, they're impossible to fix. Um, or not impossible to fix, but you don't find a same one. I mean, do you want to put time and effort into something that you may not get the return you want out of it? Um, with that being said, I think that's it. I'll give about another minute. Anybody can come up with anything. Um, so, I mean, I guess for these fabric, I just measure this bad boy out and list it. And should I do it on auction? Would auction be better? I feel like this one would do really well. Anybody knows Stefano Ricci, Ricci? I'm probably saying that wrong. Fabric would do well. You know, the sad part was I seen a shopping bag that was Stefano Ricci in um in the um in the bathroom, and I thought I was like, oh, I didn't find any of that stuff when I was here. And then I find the fabric later on. I was like, yeah, boy. Now I find the fabric. I had no idea what the fabric was. I just seen fabric, and I was like, I remember watching uh, Scavenger Life, and I think they found some Laurel Piana fabric. Unfortunately, I wasn't lucky enough to find some Laurel Piana. But I did pretty well. No, I was just joking about the auction. I, I, I never have uh, good luck with auction. Well, thank you for the super chat, Bonnie. That's mighty great of you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Person with that damn dog. That dog don't shut up. It's gonna be Dog barks at everything. Middle of the night, I get that dog barking. I'm like, Arr. get me barking like a dog. But um, make sure you know what the fabric is, the content, width of the fabric. Okay, the width of the fabric might be a little difficult. Or you mean width like <laughs> this way and this way, right? <laughs> like, I'm going to lay this out on the bed probably to figure it out. I figure that might be the easiest space. I don't think I have any space to weigh it out. But, uh, I mean, not weigh it out. But it's four pounds. So, I mean, there has to be a good amount of fabric there. I mean, figure typical sport coat and suit weighs two and a half. I know there's waist, so I guess there's enough to make a decent size men's suit out of this so but this fabric look at the colors on that thing that is nice i actually like that too bad yeah you guys will know about it when i post it i'll give you guys a uh so i'll let you guys know i'll keep you guys updated for what it sells, but I think the fabric was the find of the day. Also, the jackets. Yeah, we did good today. You know what the sad part was? I was already at this sale twice. I don't know what happened. I don't know. Oh, Gretchen is not really much of a help with fabric. Not <laughs> a poor thing. I love her to death, but I don't know if she'll be much of a help. Uh... But uh, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Have a good day. Make sure tonight, Golden Figure Package Channel, 9 o'clock. See you guys there. Have a good night.